What's going on everybody? It's Joel here and today is December 31st, 2019. It's the very last day of the year of the decade. So in review, I thought I would go over the top five training shoes, at least in my opinion, of 2019. Like I said, this is a subjective video. Everybody's gonna have their own opinions when it comes to what they think is the best training shoes. And these are the five that I have narrowed it down to for being the best training shoes of 2019. So this video is going to be a little bit on the shorter side. I'm going to try to just get to it and not babble on too much. So to start, I think the best training shoe of 2019, bar none, like if you don't know what training you're doing or you're doing all sorts of different things, this is the shoe to buy. And it is the Nano 9. This is the best training shoe, just hands down. You can do anything in the Nano 9. You can lift in it, you can run in it, you can do plyometric movements, it's good for hit. Uh, it's not the best for hit, but it works. Um, but it is a, an extremely stable weightlifting shoe. I love lifting in the Nano 9s. I've been using this shoe for a really long time. I know a lot of people still like the Nano 8s because they're a little bit more comfortable, but I do appreciate the stability of the Nano 9. And I do think that if you're looking for a shoe for training and you just want to cover all your bases, the Nano 9 is the one to get. This is the best CrossFit shoe that you can buy. The next shoe is pretty much up there with the Nano 9. I really like using the next shoe and it is none other than the Innovate 235 V3 in this cool white and gum colorway. It does come in the black and gum colorway. Those are the only two which it's actually no there's a blue one now I take that back. There's a blue one with graphene uh, but this is what the Nano 9 isn't. It's a little bit more flexible. It's a little bit more comfortable. It's very very good to run in it's still plenty stable you can lift to a high potential in this shoe um, but it's just a little bit easier to just wear it day to day it's extremely comfortable on the feet it fits like a sock i love the way that this shoe fits um, and just overall this is one of the best training shoes of 2019 because of just how comfortable and still stable it is so it kind of re resembles the Nano 8 in that regard, but excellent job to innovate for making the 235 V3. And if you're wondering why the G300 isn't on this, it's because I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, the next shoe is a shoe that I would recommend for anybody that's just looking for a normal gym shoe that's not looking to go too hard into leg day. Uh, they just want to look good at the gym. They want something that's comfortable to wear around that's still pretty stable. Uh, but they're not looking to deadlift like 500 pounds or anything. And that is the Project Rock 2s by Under Armour. This is an excellent looking shoe. The design is awesome. It's got that slip-on design. The midsole stack is a little bit high. Uh, the hover cushioning is very good. And the compression web that they put over the hover cushioning is excellent. That's one of their best technology combinations from Under Armour. Uh, and the heel in the shoe is very, very stable. It's still pretty flexible. Uh, it's not something that I would run a ton in, but it should suffice most of the people that are looking to just go to like Globo Gym and get a workout in with. It's admittedly not the best Olympic weightlifting shoe. You could clean in it. I wouldn't snatch in it. Um, I did have some issues going with overhead movements in the Under Armour Project Rock 2s, but otherwise, I think that this is an excellent training shoe. Uh, it's one of the best ones that Under Armour has ever come out with. And if you're wondering why the Tri-Base Range 2s are not in this video, it's because I haven't reviewed them yet. Um, the next shoe, I kind of flip-flopped back and forth between putting in against the Metcon 5. So the Metcon 5, if I had six spots here, I would choose the Metcon 5. It'd be in this. But the reason why I did not pick the Metcon 5 for the top five is because it just has all these quality control issues like the outsole pulling away from the upper of the shoe um, the sizing is just it's not good i mean some tens fit me some ten and a halves fit me uh, some tens don't fit at all it's it's just a mess some shoes come with the midsole missile line so you can really feel 
um, where the dual density changes. And overall, I think that it has so many things going for it, but I just can't recommend it with all the issues that it has. So instead of that, I chose the New Balance Minimus Prevail. If I think about 2019, I did a lot of training in this shoe. I think I'd spent a good two months in this shoe, maybe a month and a half before I decided to review it. Um, it's got a lot of things going for it. It's extremely flexible. It's very comfortable. Uh, the upper is awesome. It's got that knit upper. And then it's got that flat outsole that's very stable. The heel is a little bit clunky for running, which is a little funny for a New Balance shoe because typically they're pretty good for running. I didn't care for running in this shoe, but it's definitely doable. The Revlite midsole is cushioned uh, enough and without making the shoe unstable. I did really enjoy training in my Minimus Prevails and I think a lot of people will really like the shoe, especially if you wanted something that is a little bit more on the minimal side. Awesome bang up job by New Balance for the Minimus Prevail. Now, my very favorite training shoe of 2019. This is my favorite shoe. I didn't say it's the best shoe, but this is my favorite shoe. It's a very good shoe though. Um, it's the React Metcons. These ones snuck in there at the very end. I did do a review on it. I was debating on not putting this one in the video because it came out so late into the year, but I did do a review, so it's here. This is my personal favorite training shoe of 2019. It's comfortable, it's stable, the shoes are extremely responsive. The React midsole is exactly what the Metcon 5s need. Uh, in the forefoot section, at least, this is the best thing that they've ever put in a Metcon shoe. The upper of the shoe is flexible. It's durable from what I've put the shoe through. And the only reason why I think people would not want to buy this shoe is just because of the polarizing looks. I would say that's either, I mean, this shoe is definitely a, you either love it or you hate it kind of shoe. And for me, I personally like it. I think it's different. Uh, I like what Nike has done. Obviously, it's a little overbranded, but it's different. And finally, someone's doing something to kind of just change things up. Uh, and I really do appreciate that. But this React midsole, man, if they were to put this in the Metcon 5, it would be game over. Um, but if you're gonna buy one shoe from Nike this year, one training shoe at least, the Metcon reacts. This is the one, this is the truth. This is my favorite training shoe, at least right now. But if I were to go for like one rep max PRs or anything, I'd probably go with my Nano 9s. Truth be told, just because they are a little bit more stable. But for everything else, Nike Metcon React. Anyways, that's it. Um, I kind of babbled a little bit there, but that is my top five picks for 2019. So, if you didn't agree with any of those, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Make sure that you voice your opinion too. Put it in the comment section. Let me know what you thought was the best training shoes of 2019. I'd love to hear. Um, and we can debate all day long, but you know, at the end of the day, it's all personal opinion when it comes to um, what you think is the best training shoes or not. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all of these years. Um, and I hope you guys have a fun, awesome, safe New Year's. I hope you close out 2019 with a bang. And please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.